my birthday. Look at how cute. A good day and a bad day. <laughs> it's my birthday. I'm so happy. It's my 19th birthday i love birthdays especially mine my mom just came and woke me up with my brother and they gave me these earrings they're pandora earrings my family and i have this tradition that when it's somebody's birthday we put on this song it's called las mañanitas and we either bring a gift balloons flowers something that wakes them up and makes them feel special i don't even know what i want to do right now because it's too early I literally just spent like an hour answering messages and reposting Instagram stories. That's what I love slash hate about my birthday that you have to answer like all the messages that people sent you and then you have to repost the stories and do all that and it's fun but sometimes it's overwhelming because you can actually spend like at least two hours on your phone without even noticing. You guys know I love planning so here's the plan for today. I'm gonna read it to you guys. So I have this little notepad and the plans for today are this. Number one is to go grab coffee. Coffee slash matcha because I don't know what I want. Number two, I think we're gonna go to get food for my little party tonight with my family. The next one is I'm gonna go run some errands related to my birthday so I won't say any spoilers. And after those errands, we're gonna go take some pictures because obviously it's my birthday. Then we're gonna sing happy birthday and have the little party. So that's the plan for today. I'm so happy, but at the same time, I, I want to cry because I don't have my dad here with me. I miss him so much and I don't have both of my grandmothers here. I don't have my aunts, my uncles, my cousins, like my whole family is back in Honduras. So I'm a little sad, like half of my heart is over there and it's sad, but half of my heart is here. I don't want to get too emotional because I'm going to start crying. show you guys what body cream i'm gonna use it's this honey wild flower it's from bath and body works and it smells like spring so i really like it you guys can see that it has flowers so it means that it's like a spring scent i really haven't used it that much but i really wanted to save it for this time of the year so i'm gonna be using this one today and i just wanted to show you guys this because i never really show what body cream i use up doing my skincare i want to tell you guys something this is like a review kind of of a super goop they sent this sample on the super goop sunscreen that i ordered this is the unseen sunscreen and the one that i have is is this one this is the super goop mate sunscreen so as if right now i've used both and this actually protected my face from the sun really well in Cancun. From my neck to my toes, I was totally burned, but from my face, I wasn't. And I only use this. It's only 40 SPF, so it's not that high. My face was red, but it was never burnt. Most of the time when I go to the beach, I usually get more freckles than I normally have, but this time I didn't even get one new freckle. And I always get new freckles when I go to the beach because my face is so burned. So if you guys are looking for a sunscreen for the summer, for spring, because the sun is coming out, I would definitely recommend this one. This is so good. It's expensive, but it's so worth it guys My face is so protected from the Sun and I love it. I swear by this the $40 are absolutely worth it Before we leave to go get coffee. I'm gonna show you guys the outfit. This is so cute So I'm wearing this crew neck. I bought it at Old Navy. It says high hopes and it's really cute. I really like it. It says high hopes on the back. I love the color. That's the main reason I bought it. So look at the color of these bikers. You're tilted. They're really pretty. I love how they fit. I also love that they have pockets on the sides. I love this outfit. It just fits me perfectly. I feel like very dressed up when in reality I'm not. Oh, I also got this tote bag in 
in Cancun. It says Cancun, Mexico there. I love to take this to work because it reminds me of my trip to Cancun. <laughs> For some reason, my heart is beating so, so fast and it's hard for me to speak. It's like my brain is thinking faster than my heart is. What did I just say? Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go get Starbucks because I really, really need something to drink. I really need to calm down, to breathe in. Can I have an iced matcha latte, please, with almond milk? What's that? Grande. Okay. Anything else? No, that's it. Hi! Can I scan it? Yeah. Oh, I like your phone case. Thank you. You're all good. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see if it actually tastes good. Yeah. Sometimes they decide not to add sweetener and they taste terrible. Cheers! Should I just like answer text messages here? I don't know, I just don't want to be at home. I think that's better. Okay, so now let's pick out my outfit. So this is the dress that I'm gonna be wearing. Look at how cute it is. It's a little cold outside, to be honest, but, but I can wear something on top, right? I'm definitely gonna wear this for the pictures today. So I might as well just wear it to the mall. I have no idea what I should wear. Maybe if I wear these, these are really cute, but then I don't wanna wear those. I was thinking of just wearing Nike Air Force, like the regular ones, and just wear all white. I don't know, what, sh what shoes should I wear? I don't wanna wear sandals, that's for sure. Wait, what if I wear these? These have a little bit of pink. I already picked out my jewelry, I did my makeup, I'm completely done except for the shoes. So this is how they look. I actually don't love it, but it doesn't look like it matches the dress. See, I feel like the Air Force go with the dress and with the vibe, they go pretty well with the dress. So I think we're gonna go with the regular Air Force. I'm wearing a sweater because it's cold outside. <laughs> Even though I still wanna wear a dress, I have to wear something on top because it's cold outside. I love this dress. I feel like the prettiest girl in the world. For real, this is how this dress makes me feel. We're gonna go shopping. I haven't talked to a camera like in a very long time, but it's around 3.20 and we're in Towson town slash city. I consider it more of a town, but it's a city. Anyway, we're here and the purpose of us being here is because I like a sushi that is right here. This is a place like 45 minutes away from our house, but I love the sushi here. So we're here getting sushi for dinner. I really haven't told you guys the story of what happened in Sephora and what happened at the Apple store. So I'll tell you guys later, but right now we're going to Sephora and to Morphe and just shop around the area because there is absolutely nothing in the Columbia mall. good day and a bad day so a good day because it's my birthday i have my mom and my brother with me but the other half that was bad was because there was literally nothing at sephora i went to two different sephoras and none of them had anything but i'm gonna show you guys what i did get we went to apple and first apple told us that they were out of stock on the ipads that i wanted because i am getting an ipad for my birthday so they were out of stock for the ipad the earliest that i can get my ipad is 
at the end of April, beginning of May. So it's more than a month. And we went to another Apple store and they told us two bad things. One is that the iPad that I was trading in for the other iPad had no value. So my iPad had no value. And the second thing was that they also didn't have any iPads in the store and that it would take even longer for me to get an iPad if I wanted to order it. Anyway, that was literally the whole day. We spent the whole day trying to figure out the whole situation with the iPad iPad and trying to figure out what I could get for my birthday. I really really did have high hopes for today and I'm a little disappointed because of everything that happened but I did manage to get out of my anger which is such a win for me. External things sometimes do affect us even though we don't want them to and I feel like it's okay to go back and forth. I was going through that time where I was happy and then something bad happened and then I went negative. I went back and forth throughout the whole day but I managed to pull myself out of there and be in this positive place and just think about the things that I have and being grateful for them. I realized that it doesn't really matter what happens outside because it's out of my control that I need to control my reaction to the things that I can't control. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because it's out of my control. I'm gonna give you guys a little haul of what I bought at Sephora. The first thing that I got is this belief moisturizing balm this is a refill because mine is already gone and sephora is actually not going to sell belief anymore so that's pretty sad i love 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 this moisturizer it's so good so i had to buy another one of those and the last but not least thing that i got is also from belief it's this aqua balm and it's the same line as the moisturizer since i love all of their products i have their toner i wanted to try <gasps> the aqua balm i've heard really good things about it summer is coming around and the sun is going to be on my face a lot more often so i need to keep my face fresh and hydrated so i really need this one so i always try to get the mini sizes of these so that if i want to change products or if i don't like it anymore i'm stuck with this one and it's easier to finish than the big one i think my mom is decorating downstairs so i'm gonna go help her i'm really hungry and i want to show you guys my cake so i'm just gonna go help her decorate and finish off few things down there what you want to be in my vlog my vlog <laughs> you have a vlog no say hi dorian hey, say hi dom hey. say hi Keegan. I've been reading this book for the past few days. It's called Requiem and I really enjoy reading it, especially when I just want to get out of this world and just think about something else. It's very comforting because the series of these books are a lot like Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiant. If you want to know, my favorite movie is Divergent, so I really enjoy reading this book. I'm only 79 pages in. I also bought this little lamp at the dollar store. It's very nice to have because in this room there's not much light and right now it's 9.50 so I'm gonna read for about 20 minutes, just end the night with reading. Let's see how it goes. I just finished reading my book. It was a little scary to be honest. I wasn't expecting that to happen, but I'm a little scared now to go to bed. I think I should start reading at night. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am so excited for what this 19 year old me will learn and grow. Please subscribe and comment anything that you guys want. I will keep posting my videos weekly since I have more time and I will absolutely be posting a lot on my Instagram also. So go follow me over there if you don't. I will see you guys on my next video.